Hey, it's Red Lace, and today I'm going to talk to you about what are those challenge portals or challenge doors that you see underground in dungeons. So these doors are found only underground or in dungeons, and uh, they open when you get near them and reveal kind of a star pattern. And if you click on them, you can see that it says it's a challenge portal. And uh, if you go ahead and go through, um, it'll take you to a special challenge dimension. And challenge doors disappear within 15 seconds of use, so make sure you're ready to go through the door before you actually use it. Um, when you come through here, you will want to be equipped with a decent weapon. Uh, you may encounter bad guys, you may not. Uh, it really just depends on where you went. And there are actually 27 different challenge rooms, and it's completely random which one you get. So you may get the same one. Um, that you've already gotten, but then you might get a new one that you haven't seen before. So each one has its own set of unique challenges, and um, some of them are platforming based, some have bad guys you need to fight in addition to platforming. Um, so each one really is unique, and uh, they usually have pretty good rewards, uh, often a weapon, maybe some upgrade type of gear, and a uh, armor or something like that. You do want to have Morph Ball at the very least when you come to these dimensions because there's lots of chests in them that do require Morph Ball tech to get through. Uh, Pulse Jump is also another tech I would recommend to have when you come through these just because it makes it easier, especially on the platforming puzzles. And there are some areas that have hard to reach chests that require a higher jump than the standard jump, so either a Pulse Jump or a Grappling Hook could come in handy for you. And when you get to the end of the portal, if you make it successfully without dying, uh, there is a chest that will have some goodies inside. And uh, as you can see, there's some pixels, some tech, uh, a teleporter core, some armor, a weapon, and some bandages. So it's definitely worth making, making it through these challenge doors or challenge portals. And uh, then to leave, you can go back through and it will take you back to where you began. And so that is what the teleporter doors are in Starbound Glad Giraffe. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe to me on YouTube, follow me on Twitter, and watch me live on Twitch at Red Lace Gaming. Also visit my website, redlacegaming.com. Thanks for watching.